like five years ago, there was barely no internet here, only like those medicine students that were studying here, or foreigners that came, they got like a permit, so the government sold them internet for the time they were staying here at hotels, but like, at then that passed by and like four years ago they started this service and the parks, they put, put place routers in some certain important park or plazas so people could go there like buy a card in uh, Retexa and they could get online. And the real restriction is the price, you yeah. know, it's not the time. Uh, internet is one hour for one dollar. So for Q and one dollar is a, a lot of money. Uh, for a service that you need to use frequently. En mi opinión, mi criterio es muy personal. Si nosotros logramos eh, hacer que el internet sea más accesible, o sea, llegue a cada ciudadano, a cada persona, y a precio módico, precio accesible a toda la población, no nada más a aquellos que, que tienen Eh, un buen trabajo, una buena entrada de dinero, o familiares en, en, el, el, en el extranjero, creo que tal vez el paquete peligre un poco. Y creo incluso que hasta desaparezca. Porque ya al, al tener ese acceso a, a la web y poder tener tus series, tu, tu música, eh, la información que tú desees al alcance de, de tu celular o de tu laptop, o, Bueno, pues creo que entonces eso sería como, eh, como matar el paquete. El paquete es un fenómeno un poco extraño y es un poco eh, raro que se creó por, por la necesidad de de saber, ¿no? la necesidad de tener información, la necesidad de, de acceder a algo que se parecía a lo que se llama internet, ¿no? lo que es toda una red enorme que, que va pasando de mano en mano, de computadora en computadora, sin haber un cable de por medio. There's an old joke, widely attributed to NASA, that says to never underestimate the bandwidth of a station wagon full of tapes hurtling down the highway. To the average Cuban, that bandwidth alone makes the baquete worth paying for. At least twice a week, the contents of a one terabyte hard drive are first assembled in Havana before making their way out to each province by a courier, via bus, car, bike, or even on foot. This journey to each province takes about a day, which means that a TV show that aired in the U.S. on a Sunday night would be available in the Paquete on Tuesday morning. This drive contains hundreds of dollars worth of data, but costs only a few dollars to copy. The Paquete isn't outright illegal, but it inhabits a gray area in the eyes of the state that Cubans are all too familiar with. Many Cubans approach my interviews cautiously. Some agreed to be recorded on the condition of anonymity. Others refused to be recorded at all and would only provide background information. I've collected all of these videos, all of my notes, and more into a paquete of my own. This is El Paquete Cubano.